Hi, I'm Lori with craftroomtime.com. Today we're going to be learning how to do the 3D cardinal. Let's go ahead and upload your project by uploading the image and browsing for your SVG and opening it. And then go ahead and upload it once it shows in your screen here. Select it with the green box around it and insert your image onto your canvas. Okay, it is already pre-sized to go on a 12 by 12 um, piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it though. I'm going to move the uh, cardinal off of the way and let's start with the words. So I'm going to go ahead and select them all. They're all grouped together so we're good. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and attach those. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit um, make it, so a couple things, you can cut this out of vinyl and leave it as a basic cut, or we can change it to a print then cut. And what we're going to want to do is offset that, and I've got it at a 0.25, and a weld, and apply it. And then I'm just going to change the background to white, so that it doesn't print out, because it won't print white. And then I want to select all of that just by drawing a box around it with my cursor and hit the attach button. Okay, so now that can be a print and cut and then this will just be the print. And the cardinal is sized to be on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper already, so you're good. But you can also make it smaller or bigger, you know, using the little drawing tools, the, the little arrow tools. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like when you go to make it. It was a fairly large project, so it may tell you that it's taking a little bit of time. And then you, if you know me by now, you know that I like to look at my mats to make sure that everything is, um, we're taking advantage of all the paper and not wasting paper. But it is going to instruct you to print this first and then it'll come back in and ask you to cut it. And, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna cut around all those little letters and, and such. So you don't have to offset it and then it'll print this and then it'll cut it out in a square. But if you do the little offset, then you can um, print it on some really pretty paper and then put it on a background, um, print it black and white and then print it, put it on a background as well. You can use a clear sheet um, of vellum and print this on it and then attach it to your uh, pretty background as well couple different options there. If you're not doing the print then cut and you're doing the vinyl then you'll know that 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 comes on the vinyl sheet and you'll um, you use your vinyl to attach it to the paper. So I use a lot of eight and a half by 11 so I can select the eight and a half by 11 to change the format of the paper and then I know what the borders look like where the borders are. That's what it did. It just makes it shadowed for an 8.5 by 11. Um, but I can usually just eyeball it to see that it's in, in an 8.5 by 11 so I don't have to go through all of that at waiting. Just make sure it's within an 8.5 by 11. And um, I'm just moving all of this so that I'm taking full advantage of all my paper, not wasting paper. And then that's the beak. So there's not a whole lot of paper involved in this. Two different reds you want. Um, the cardinal is like facing um, where the, the sun is hitting this way. So you want those pieces to be lighter. You want these pieces right here to be lighter than this last piece that has a few of them on here because this will be where the sun's hitting it. So this should be a lighter red color. Um, this would be really pretty in a, a glitter, um, a light glitter maybe, and this would be a dark glitter. It'd be really pretty put in on a glitter sheet of cardstock altogether the bat for the background, and it would look like it's in snow. It'd be really pretty too. When you're ready, just hit continue. You'll attach it to your machine. I have mine's on Bluetooth so it's just searching for it and then we'll go ahead and select the materials. 
if you are using glitter cardstock, you can select glitter for everything and just print it that way. That works just fine. Um, whenever I'm using cardstock, I do like to use more pressure. When you're using glitter cardstock as well, I use more pressure. And then you just load your mat and cut away. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put together the cardinal. So there's a lot of pieces, but it's okay. We're going to work it together so you can see how it goes together. I'm going to do the wings first. So I'm going to move all of the other pieces off to the side. Um, let me just show you. You've got the head that's going to go on. And this is the where the light hits the head so it's lighter. You've got two pieces to the beak. You've got the eyeball. And this is the the part that goes underneath the beak and the eyeball. It's um, the, his face. And then these are the layers for the body part here. And then these are the layers for the, for the bottom tail. And then these are the wings. And then you have the two feet. So let me push all of these guys off to the side. So I'm just working with the wings and the body. Okay, and then I'm going to start with the gray. So I'm going to flip these over because I'm going to attach using the back for my guide to put the foam dots. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them at the base of the feathers because I, I'm going to ruffle them out. And I'll show you what I mean by that. That's why I have the pencil. So what I mean by ruffling them out is I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to curl them around to give them some lift so that they will look like feathers. And I'm just going to do that to the top ones. These bottom ones I'm not going to do it to. Okay, so that's what I meant by that. And then this just lines up as well. Now this is just an outline, so it's gonna have a little bit of the dark red all the way around it. So just get it on there like that. Okay, now that's our wings. I think they turned out nice. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the head. So I'm gonna put on, flip them over, I'm gonna put the full face on first. Um, okay, then the black layer now <clears throat> this is just to give it lift because of all these layers here, so... We're going to use one of the feet. So this foot has a little bit wider than this one. So this is the back one and this is the front one. So I'm just going to attach it with glue.
cover that right there, right? There is where it goes, okay. So this kind of gives um, the shadow of the red, and then you can see his little foot is going to stick out right there underneath. This is his uh, little tuft of hair right here is what it's supposed to look like, so there you go. So you can put this one a little bit further down, or you can decide where it goes at that point. I might move it down just a little bit. Uh, that was probably, it's already stuck, so I'm just gonna leave it, it's fine. And he goes underneath there. Okay, just like that. Okay, now I am deciding that I do not like this beak sticking out so much. So I'm just going to take that off right there. Put a little bit of glue on it. And glue it down instead of having it sticking out so far. That's much better. Okay. All right, and there you have it. There's the cardinal. I hope you enjoyed that, and be sure to go to craftroomtime.com to get more ideas and free SVGs. Can't wait to see you there.